All right, y'all, what's going on? It's Combo Breaker 99. I am back with another post fight discussion video. All right, y'all, back with my post fight thoughts on this fight. If you want to call it a fight, if you really want to call it that, um, Natalia Silva versus Victoria Leonardo. All right, y'all, this fight pretty much went the way I felt it was going to go. Um, like I said, Natalia Silva, she was going to paint a picture in here, and she proved that she's an artiste with them hands and them kicks in there. I mean, really, when it came down to it, when it came down to it, this was a mismatch. Victoria Leonardo had no business being in there with a big threat like Natalia Silva. Now, Natalia Silva is unranked, but I think we all know what an unranked threat looks like versus the unranked lower tier of the flyweight division, right? Fighters like Natalia Silva, they're on a mission, they're dangerous, and they just have a lot of momentum right now. So as a matchmaker, most of the times, you know, I, I'm, I'm not going to bash the matchmakers. For the majority of the flyweight fights and strawweight fights being made, they usually match them up pretty solid, you know, when they're on this level. But at this point for Victoria Leonardo, you know, with the way she's moving, she needed to be in there with somebody still on that level like a Mandy Baum, like the, the win she got against Mandy Baum a little while back, while Natalia Silva, you know, she needed to get in there with somebody that's ranked or one of the more uh, threatening unranked fighters. That's how I saw it. Because when, when I saw this fight matched up, I, I told y'all, um, I already saw this as just an obliteration, pretty much an obliteration. And then I forgot about it. Like, that's that's how serious I thought this fight was. Like, <clears throat> like I said, it's not the fact that Natalia Silva isn't marketable or anything like that, because she is, you know, 100 percent. It was just the opponent. You know, it didn't really make for a solid matchup because I knew this was going to be a mismatch. But the performance was good when it came down to it. Fighters do need highlight reels. And this was a good showcase of the striking ability of um, Natalia Silva on that level. Dare I say it, Manon Firo, or maybe even a level above. I don't know. Or maybe because this is what you want to see a fighter do. Like people will say, oh, this this fighter, they haven't been tested. But the way she went in here and presented her skill sets lets you know that she's above the rest around around this uh, tier of flyways, okay? Same with the way I saw Tyler Santos and Manon Fira when they were on the unranked level. Like, people said they needed to be tested, but we already knew their skills were at a certain level because of the way they were running through these girls. They weren't close decisions. They were just dominant victories. So far, Natalia Silva, she's been dominant with her striking ability. And in this fight, right from the jump, from the first round, you saw her control this fight with just beautiful footwork and just, you know, solid slamming right hands right on Victoria Leonardo's chin. Now, Victoria Leonardo did, like, get off a couple of stiff shots, like, when she would step in, like, with her timing. But Natalia Silva just made that adjustment real quick and just started, like, piling up the shots, you know, good head kicks from a range and just, you know, using that hand speed and foot speed to her advantage. You know, just all around good control. And I love how she was throwing that, uh, throwing that jab, you know, just down the pipe and just busting up Victoria Leonardo, even though she had that high guard, you know, she was still splitting that guard, landing some very good shots, you know, throughout like the uh, two minutes of the fight that it lasted, two or three minutes that it did last. But uh, what I did like was just how she stayed consistent, you know, and just mixed the shots up. And then she just landed that beautiful hook off the jab. First, she slammed that jab in her face and threw that beautiful left hook and dropped Victoria Leonardo. And Victoria Leonardo, I give her credit. She did try to recover. She tried to go in for that uh, takedown, but good, good sprawl by Silva. You know, that sprawl was on point. I mean, she was like Joanna in there with it on this level, just letting you know that, no, nah, I'm not going to the ground with you. you. know, She stuffs that takedown, separates, goes right back to doing what she's doing, lands that hard left hand again, right on the chin of Victoria Le Leonardo, forcing her to shell up, then follows up with this hard head kick that just, puts her into the into the cage referee he's seen enough and i mean right when i saw those last two shots it was like a left right and then that hit that left head kick you know just the body language alone of natalia silva scoring the shots and victoria leonardo lets you know that there was, there was big there was a big level difference here big level difference and man like this this could have been avoided because victoria leonardo she got thrashed in the matter of less than one round you know, so yeah, shout out to Natalia Silva for doing what she needed to do. Um, I do give her full credit because she got a chance to show her skill sets again and just let you know that, hey, I'm above this. You know, sometimes you have to do that. Every now and then you get a mismatch on your record, but, you know, um, when you go in there and do what you do, hey, we can't knock it. We love to see this type of work, right? 
Um, as as far as what happens here from Natalia Silva, uh, I think that actually Natalia Silva should be in there with the training partner of Victoria Leonardo, which is Andrea Lee. All right, that should be the next fight. That's Matchmaking Monday. That's the Matchmaking Monday spoiler for y'all. Heads up right there. Natalia Silva versus Andrea Lee should be the next fight for this young lady, you know, to get her into the top 15 because I think that she's ready. That's three in a row. That's three unranked fighters in a row now. Now it's time to get a ranked opponent for her. As for Victoria Leonardo, I think she's going to join Jin Yoon Kim and Jesse Jess on that cutting room floor now. I mean, let's just be real. I mean, she made she made some noise in the contender series, but from there, her skill sets just haven't been on that level for the UFC flyweight division. You know, um, maybe she just got to go back to the drawing board and work, you know, change camps, do what she got to do. Um, it's never over till it's over. That's how I feel. But right now, what she's doing um, is just not working. You know, it's just not working. So I think her getting cut would be uh, it would be a good it would be a good thing definitely would be a good thing but yeah man y'all got to check this one out if y'all want to see the hand speed and the striking abilities of a solid flyweight natalia silva who needs a ranked opponent asap combo breaker 99 i'm out subscribe peace